What is going on guys? Great for today. I'd like to talk about some new things coming to Halo Infinite. Now these are leaked things, so you know you kind of take it with a grain of salt, but the person that is leaking this has usually been pretty spot on with every, everything else they have leaked so far. It does look like we're going to be getting some new maps and some new modes in Halo Infinite, but it probably will not be until Season 2. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Also, be sure to check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. If you're not subbed to the channel, go ahead and hit that sub button. And if you enjoy the video, I really would appreciate it if you hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. Now, when it comes to Halo Infinite, it was a very popular release. A lot of people are enjoying the game. And a lot of people have now, kind of since that point, quit playing. And the main reason everyone has quit playing, the main reason everyone has stated, is because they don't really like the content in the game. It's not, you know, enough content. To be a live service game is not enough stuff going on it's not enough stuff being released in a timely manner and we all know of course it's going to still be a bit before season two starts and it looks like all of this stuff that was leaked will probably be coming in season two now of course the leaker is on a twitter account called halo hub gg and it does show some kind of new additions that should be in the roadmap they talked about things like uh you know leak leaks for infection griff ball extraction some other game modes of that nature but the biggest thing i think within this whole leak was 10 new maps 10 new maps in season two would be a big plus now they say some of these maps may be fan favorite remakes from past halo games but from the looks of it that's only going to be one or two of them so the other eight to nine maps should be brand new i think this will be good for you know, the, the, the casual player base, good for the, you know, ranked play, uh, player base, and also good for the Pro League, because I think the Pro League might need a couple more maps in it. Uh, the Pro League has been doing really well viewership-wise. If you've not been watching the Halo Pro League, it's been an absolute blast to watch. But overall, I think this is what the game needs. Now, the biggest issue is um, we're going to have to most likely wait till Season 2. And will all this be out at the start of Season 2? I would say probably not. I think that... 343 is probably listening to the community and realizing that the community is unhappy with the amount of content that has been available this first season. So I'm assuming they're probably going to start adding things in if they have been listening to the community, like I think they should have. Uh, I think they're going to start adding more drops throughout the season instead of doing, you know, like here's the season, here's the season pass, here's all the new stuff right at the beginning. We're not going to do anything else until the next season. I think that's going to kind of go away. I think they're going to start having drops within the season itself. And that's going to be the best way to keep players playing. That way they'll have new content. So if you want to take a break for a week or so, you always can come back in, a, in a, you know, a couple weeks and fi find some new things within Halo Infinite, which you really cannot do right now. So hopefully we'll see these 10 maps added in. I think a lot of people will be excited about that. The thing I want to know, what kind of maps would you like, guys like to see that they you know remake? You know, They're talking about remaking one or two kind of Halo classic maps. What maps would you guys like to see? So leave me a comment with your thoughts. And also let me know what you think about the season two content if there's going to be 10 new maps and new things added throughout the season would it get you interested in playing halo infinite you know daily or weekly again anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you liked it hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace